Warfighters Ask, Tech Solutions delivers, connecting the warfighter with the scientist. Office of Naval Research Tech Solutions is the place where a sailor or Marine can directly request special technology needs for rapid response and delivery. I take the sailor speak, I turn it into scientists, find what they need, and hand it back to them. What's important here at ONR is we have created a link between the sailor or the marine doing the job out in the field, on the deck plate, and the naval research enterprise where I can take and use all of the Navy's resources basically to kind of come up with a solution for whatever their particular problem is. An improved driver's vision enhancement retrofit was recently delivered to the Marine Corps for testing. The Tech Solutions team worked closely with SPAWAR to deliver this needed technology this latest version improves visibility and safety for Marines when driving combat vehicles at night. The Driver's Vision Enhancer program uh, is an effort to build a simple, low-cost retrofit device on Marine Corps vehicles to increase the situational awareness and the driver's safety by enhancing the contrast that comes from the camera on the vehicle so that the driver can actually see obstacles in the road much better. It is much more cost effective than replacing the entire DVE system or even just one of its components. The DVE RFD algorithm is uh, being developed by Spaywar San Diego. We are currently just about to begin our moving tests. They They've done static tests in the vehicles at Camp Pendleton. Once we complete our testing, we'll hand it off to somebody else for further refinement and deployment to the Marines. Through the ONR Tech Solutions program, we can get them solutions much more quickly. The Automated Shipboard Observation System, or ASO, is another Tech Solutions rapid response project. The ASO is capable of replacing manual weather observations at sea with an automated process. Our responsibility is with the weather. Um, we take the observation, we go outside, look up, see what the clouds are like, uh, judge the wave heights, the visibility, um, look for dangers such as thunderstorms and items like that that we'll be concerned with during flight operations. Current weather reports go to Norfolk where they are logged and updated every three to six hours. Automation of that process will save time and deliver a more accurate weather report. Rather than the AGs or quartermasters on other ships having to um, take time every hour or to go up and take the observation and then every six hours encode the observation, uh, it's all done automatically through the system. It's a very good product and we were able to use it for detecting thunderstorms. It has a lightning detector on it that allows us to give precise information to the bridge so that we know where to go to avoid that lightning. Current regulations require every ship to send a weather report at least every six hours. So that's sort of a manpower drain. One factor is to reduce the burden on the sailors. There's no reason that an automated sensor can't measure the weather, format it into a report, and then automatically send it back to the folks that need that data. So using the automated system, it was, it was really nice because we were able to confirm information like visibility and stuff it's a little bit more precise because it's a computer. Uh, so we essentially had uh, a year to 15 months from start to beginning to get all the accreditations, all the approvals, all the drawings and also select a contracting partner to install this on board CVN 69. So it was quite an accomplishment for us to be able to demonstrate this within that time frame. The Improved Performance Assessment and Readiness Training System, or iParts, is a handheld electronic data collection device for use on carrier flight decks. A request came to Tech Solutions from the Landing Signal Officer LSO community to develop an automated device that would replace the pen and paper data collection system currently in use. Landing signal officers are responsible for the safe and expeditious recovery of aircraft aboard aircraft carriers. We stand on the back of the aircraft carrier and observe incoming aircraft as they land, making sure they're within tolerances. And it's an extremely hostile environment for a computing device, which has been a, a big challenge for us. There was a little bit of a cultural resistance at first to having something electronic like that on the deck. So we put it on a handheld and we actually put it in the hands of a landing signal officer. They were not only able to grade the landings faster, they were able to take that tool, show it to the pilots in a form fashion that they hadn't been able to before. We looked at what technologies are available and brought to bear all new digital uh, tablet PCs, 
They're lightweight and capable of operation day and night. Easy to use interfaces, video technology, and kind of put it all together into a prototype system. So the cool thing about iParts is that it functions kind of at two levels. At a strategic level, it allows uh, decision makers within the Naval Aviation Enterprise to make resource allocation decisions based on real-time carrier landing performance data. At kind of a tactical level, it enables the LSO to do their job better. Not only from collecting the data aboard the carrier on the flight deck, but also in terms of producing trend analysis reports, uh, analyzing pilot performance, and suggesting training techniques to improve carrier landing safety. So the time from when the LSO commanding officer came to us, the LSO school commanding officer, to about the time that, it, that we uh, completed that portion of the product or demonstrated, it was about 14 months worth of development. A lot of times research programs get somewhat disconnected from actual application and Tech Solutions does it the other way around. They bubble up needs and problems from the fleet. Tech Solutions has been a strong supporter for this project from the very get-go. They really have it down to get projects that are relevant to the fleet that have a high amount of research and cutting-edge technology part of the project and that made it challenging, interesting and very rewarding all the same. While ONR Tech Solutions links warfighters to the government science and technology community, its main focus is improving the quality of life for sailors and Marines. We're always reaching out to the fleet looking for good ideas. Our website is available 24-7, so if the sailors and the Marines have ideas, they should come to us. We'll work with them to make sure that they get a solution. Every single sailor, every single Marine needs to know that they have a way of going online, submitting a request, actually getting a response with some sort of thing that could help them in their job, improve their quality of life. This is something that they should all know about. For more information about ONR Tech Solutions, contact the Office of Naval Research.